A distinctive buzzing has filled the air at Baburi grounds as a team of around 150 young people from Botlab Dynamics prepares to illuminate the skies of Vijayawada with a stunning display of over 5,000 drones. As part of the drone summit, the Andhra Pradesh government is organizing a spectacular show featuring 5,500 drones at Punnami Ghat on October 22nd. A fleet of over 8,000 drones has arrived from the company's headquarters in Delhi. Charging stations have been set up in makeshift tents and technicians are hard at work to ensure everything runs smoothly. Mayank, the operations head at Botlab, spoke to the New Indian Express about what it takes to pull off the country's largest drone show. Uh, we have been doing uh, manufacturing of, or you know, making our own drones right from year 2016. And uh, we started, you know, coming into this field of doing drone light show uh, in the year 2022, where we got this opportunity to present uh, ourselves, uh, India, in beating retreat, uh, where we showcase of thousand drone show. And hereafter, uh, thereafter, like you know, we uh, brought into our segments that we have done more than 150 shows in India abroad. We have done five to six shows. Uh, and represented India in different level and different segments. Here we got this opportunity to work with the Andhra government uh, to present uh, this uh, Amravati Drone Summit where we are going to fly 5,500 drones uh, to showcase this, uh, the development that is done through drones, how drones are useful you know, to the society and some cultural formations will be there. Uh, as a team, we have presented uh, India in the World Cup final also where we showcased uh, uh, the uh, you know, World Cup final uh, with 1500 drones, the IPL opening ceremony. In fact, uh, the Ambani wedding, pre wedding also in Jamnagar. While preparations are underway in full swing, there are concerns over the weather. Even as Cyclone Dana is brewing in the Bay of Bengal, the Botlab team is confident of executing the show. The weather seems to, have, to be a challenge currently. So yeah, Botlab and weather has a very good relationship. We are like brother-sister. <laughs> Wherever you, we go, they are with us. <laughs> so, uh, what is your action plan? Like, uh, so, uh, the, uh, you know, the best, or... best part with uh, the weather condition is that uh, the momentarily you will see it's, you know, quite... Uh, uh, it seems that it's going to rain uh, very heavily. But eventually when we are going to do the show, you will see it will be a clear sky. So that kind of relationship we have with the weather. But in fact, yes, uh, see, uh, it's just the preparation that we are doing it. We have manpower, we've got helping hand also with us. Uh, we are like very quick. We cannot fly drones if it's heavy rainfall, right? And in fact, there will be no one watching it also. Uh, drizzling is what we can handle it. Uh, but still, you know, whether we're talking about a larger fleet, we have to make a contingency plan of how we can get it back to, you know, safeguard it. And moreover, uh, we need at least, you know, one hour of time to prepare back it. So I think, you know, in that scenario, uh, the team and the, you know, the government will understand for it. We also have a reserve day on 23rd, so we are keeping finger crossed that we'll do it on 22nd itself. So, uh, besides the weather, what are some other challenges that, you know, you have faced or you are expecting to face uh, before the drone show happens? Uh, see, uh, eventually there are a lot of uh, infrastructural challenges we faced it, but you know, those are just a part of an event and uh, we, we are like, you know, uh, ready for such conditions. Uh, the challenges is what you can see is the spread of what we are doing the drone show. So it's a huge spread of almost 120 meter to 150 meter of stretch. Mm -hmm. So that what my drones will be lying from this point to till that end. Mm -hmm. So that is one you know uh, 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 thing will be there. We uh, would love to have you know a lot of people to support us in that case so that you know can help us to carry the drones to the site and mm, be ready for it. Can Otherwise uh, we are good to go with. The animations and you know the uh, other challenges we already have uh, overcome so I don't think so apart from the weather there is sudden challenges that we are going to face. Can show. you elaborate on the on the type of drone you will be using and a little bit on what happens what goes behind the See scene? actually you know what uh, we don't talk much about the, our drones okay and eventually there are uh, sudden protocols that we follow and to maintain that thing yeah, because the, this technology we are it's an inbuilt technology the softwares are inbuilt and all so what I can say one thing about is that these drones are Indian made we you know plan our 
uh, animation so team animation team basically then you know plan the formations that we are going to build up and eventually uh, with that case we do the programming and uh, we bring the drones here to the side we prepare them we take them we do the testing of it to make sure that they are uh, uh, ready for the sorties uh, we, uh, you know we we make sure that you know uh, all the motors propellers and everything are intact so hardware wise we do inspections we do battery setup inside where we make sure that you know the uh, the power energy that is required for the drones to fly those batteries to be charged on time so that there's a certain set of team who's working on it to make sure that you know they're continuously charging the battery to prepare it for the drones and then we have the other team software team who works on creating uh, and giving them the software uh, you know uh, programming it and that, that's it we do inspections we understand there is there is any problem we do the replacement of it and we try to uh, inbuild uh, what you are going to show the underpaid what form, uh, formations basically? I think let's keep it as a surprise. <laughs> I love to see the people reaction <laughs> rather than if they know it before what is happening. How you know. much shows you are going to? How mm. long is the show? I going? think uh, this is going to be around 12 to 13 minutes. Okay. Right? And uh, moreover, I think uh, 7, 8 formations will be there. Okay. So we, we will be coming across with takeoff landing also. So you know, the takeoff has certain set of formations which mm. we will be having. The distance of 400 to 500 meters is what the people will be able to see. It. Mm. And in fact, uh, you know, whole of the uh, Vijayawada will be able to see it. Uh, 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 no, uh, as a visual angle will be, you know, distance will be somewhat around 3 to 3.5 kilometers. So people at this radius will be able to see uh, on air. We also heard that uh, you are planning to break four international records. So if yeah, <laughs> finger <Okay>. crossed. <laughs> Any details that you can give us on that? See, uh, I think uh, let's let's have it on the D-Day, okay? So we are working on those things, you know, the team is working day and night to make sure that we break the world record. So, you know, let that uh, happen on the uh, 22nd, I will be able to, you know, happily give this answer that yes, we have cracked the four. These are the categories of where we have done it. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, uh, let us first have this. Uh, executed on the D-Day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.